volume is used in many aspects of our daily life. Let's consider a bedroom in a house. Remember the perimeter is the total distance around the outside of the floor. If we are putting baseboard around the floor, the perimeter would tell us the total length of baseboard we need. Also recall that the area is the total two-dimensional surface of the floor. Area will tell us how much flooring is needed to cover the floor of this room. Area is calculated by multiplying the room's length by its width. If we calculate the volume of this bedroom, which is length times width times height, this gives us the total three-dimensional space taken up by the bedroom. Knowing the volume of a room helps us determine how much air needs to be cooled by an air conditioner for this room. So we can get an idea of how big of an air conditioner we need. Volume is commonly used to specify the amount of liquid in a drink can or package. It is often expressed in units liters or milliliters. Gravel and other construction materials are usually sold by volume. Cubic meters can be used as a measure of volume for gravel or sand. However, cubic yards are still often used. A large dump truck can carry 10 or more cubic yards of material. It is important to know the volume of water in a swimming pool. The amounts of chemicals added to a pool are based on the total volume of water in the pool. Pool water can be specified in units like liters, cubic feet, or another imperial unit called gallons. Engine displacement in gasoline engines is often displayed in cubic centimeters or cc's. The larger the engine displacement in cc's, the more powerful the engine is. Volume is the three-dimensional space within an object, so volume has many uses in everyday life and industry. Mm -hmm.